Hey guys, welcome back. I am doing another layout for Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches, number nine, I believe. And this is for March 15th. So if you've been following along with me this month, I am using Not Just for Boys Kit Club kits for days one through 15. So this will be my last day of playing along with that. And I do have this kit. It is from October 2021 and it was a theme kit called Mary. I have very fancy notes for these things. So I was on the phone when I was looking this up and oh and by the way this is my sketch. So I got to contribute a sketch which is so fun they let us do that but I'll get into that in a minute. So I was on the phone with somebody and I had pulled this kit and I'm like you know what I want to just start cutting out this wreath bit and this is wreath is from Rosie's studio let me see if I can find I have two of them I have two it looks like this super gorgeous super pretty all of that so I knew I wanted to use a part of it so I kind of just hacked off this area where this cute little deer head is all right let me show you the sketch and I'll try to come up with a bit of a plan because I don't have a plan past that so I've got a background in this piece it's wood grain it can be whatever some fishtail banners die cut bits photo square and I think I have a square photo do I yes um a strip going this way and this has scallop borders I don't know if I'm gonna have scallops and embellishments here so easy peasy sketch to follow so what I have so far is I do have this background it's this really nice icy paper blue on blue from bow bunny joyful christmas the back side looks like this with ornaments and i will not be doing that so let me go ahead and just cut off this branding strip so i can have my icy goodness here did it cut nicely looks like it so i have that now in our sketch piece we have a piece going right here awesome and some fishtail banners here. So I think I will make sure to cut a piece of this right away to go into a fishtail banner piece. Let's see. Oh, apparently I had a little bit of adhesive on that. Hmm, who'd have thunk? Do I want, I want some of the pink. I just cut a piece and it was all blue. I think I want some of the nice pinky tone to come through. So I'm gonna have something like that over there and then another one let me show you the photo as well this is a photo of my husband and a work team in Washington DC and they were in front of the USA tree now there is also a tree for a Christmas tree for every state and they each got a picture in front of that yada 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 so nighttime photo not the best that's fine this young lady here was wearing orange, which is a little bit not great for my uh, layout, but that's fine. We're going to get through it. So, photo. I have to mat that. I need another pattern paper to go ahead and do a... Uh, ooh, look how cute these are. <gasps> these are cute, cute. Okay, I'm going to have that on top of my things because it's beyond cute. Um, Let's see. That would be good as like embellishment cluster pieces. So what, oh guys, I just love that. All right, it's from Pretty Little Studio Frosty. This is pretty awesome in that it's just a nice spot of white, but I love these leafy bits. All right, I'm gonna do the leafy bits. Is there anything else? Or do I wanna bring in just this, no, okay. I'm looking, I'm looking, trying to make sure of everything I have. I have a, oh, guys, I have to use the trees because they're in front of these trees. Okay, I have that and this right now on my radar. The rest I'm gonna put aside for now. Um, I have that. Now, what else? Oh, now this wreathy thing, totally not a part of the sketch, but that's okay. It's my layout. I'm the boss of it. So I'm gonna have it go around like that. Hopefully, you know what I'll do? I'll make sure to build out the uh, matting on this big enough so I won't have any like funny white space. That's fine. What else, what else? I kind of feel like 
I need, oh, guys, this is just the back of this. So I already have a piece. I don't need to cut into it yet. Maybe, I feel like I need something, like something. I don't know what it is. I need something, which does not help us when I don't know even what I need. I'm looking through the papers again. Maybe I will bring in this. I need some depth because I can scale up this side if I have something in a little bit of a deeper tone. Okay, I wanna work on that. I think I will also go ahead and use this for this other fishtail banner. Now I do have these great Vicki Booten words, so I will come up with something from here for my title. That will be easy. And I also, guys, this kit was really packed. Oh, that might be even cooler. Yeah, oh, that might be cooler to use down the side as opposed to the scallops because I have all of this trim. Look at it, guys. It's gorgeous. All right, so from Pretty Little Studio, I also have all of these die cuts. So I have plenty to use. Let me spend a minute. I'm going to go ahead and scuff up my edges, make them fun with my new scufferator and pick out some die cuts and I'll be back in a minute. I have some good traction. My base pieces are down. Then I realized I want to still put this snowflake trim right here going up the side this way. So I'll just peel it back and the trim is super, super skinny right through here. And my red line tape is like double the thickness. So I think I'll use a little bit of liquid adhesive, but that will be taking the place of the scallop on that side. And you know, I will have enough, I think, yes, I will, to do this side. So I'm gonna try to run both. If I don't have enough, I'll come in with one of my other trims because I'm super lucky with all of these trims in this kit. Really great, happy accident. Then next, you know how we have the two embellishment clusters? Got to pop the title. Got to pick the title. Which I have. Ah, I'm losing. I'm losing my teaspoon ruler. I have both these and these, so I'll use this for a secondary title, I believe. So cute, the stuff in here. Um, I have this. I also have these really cool acrylics from that are exclusive for not just for boys. So I have some really good things now. I have, these are like the cutest resiny acrylic -y pieces ever. Look at, I'm gonna show you, but I think I'm gonna hold off to use them. Oh, there's green ones too. For my layout, actually I'm, I'm filming these backwards. I'm filming the 15th a day ahead. I still have to do the 14th. So I think I'm gonna use these for a layout for the 14th of this herd of deer that we're in our um, sub, I and mean, we have deer every day that you see here, but it was a massive herd and they were in our park in our sub, it's, it's our commons, and they were not about to get out of the way for the humans. They were like, nope, it's ours. And they're very sassy, it was, it was pretty funny. Anywho, thinking the deer would be super awesome for that. <sighs> so, you'll see that yesterday, that makes sense. Hmm. Anywho, I'm going to keep getting these pieces down and I still have to pick my title and I have to pick my die cuts. I do know I want to bring in for our die cut clusters one of each of these because these are awesome guys. I mean this page is great too but thank goodness I have two pages or I have two sets of this. Okay, I'm going to get this down because it's going to be all gluey and I'm going to get stuff all over my hands trying to use up this glue here. Um... Yeah, and I'm gonna get the rest of it together and I'll be right back. Alrighty, Rue, so let's build this a bit. I have my snowflakes down. I was going through the different pieces for die cuts. Now this die cut pack, it's called Snow Friends Mini Die Cut. So there's all these cute little critters and I know I wanna use all the deer on this other layout, which I normally do not save things, but I'm doing it like in a half hour, the layout. So otherwise I just use whatever I have. So I have that kind of cool that it's lining up with something I just have to get to scrapping. I did cut out a couple of these great little framey bits. I'm going to pop that down by the squirrel, the little squirrel on the wreath. It's kind of looking up at the people and I think he's cute. He's a inquisitive little fella. I'm gonna have this hang off up here for no good reason whatsoever. I think I just love the pattern. 
and I scuffed up the edges on anything I could. I still have to scuff up the edges on the outside of my, um, or on my background. So I have all these hearts. That's not really what I'm vibing for a work kind of a layout. I do like this Oh What Fun and Currently. They can go on there. Let's see what this one says. You and me. That's also a little interesting for a work layout. So I'm trying to be a bit cognizant of what the activity is. I like this happy piece. That's good. And let's see. So I have fishtail banners going on. I have so much going on that I don't really want to use these pieces right here either. It's one of those like, oh, and like there's let's cuddle. Probably not good for a work layout. Probably not. Okay, so let me think. I do know I have my title and it's bright lights and I can just go ahead and put that right across this sitch. Bright lights works rather nicely for a layout with all of these Christmas trees. So I have that, not a biggie. So maybe like right there. So that's there. Now something I thought was kind of cool, let me show you. Since, you know, this is the first time I'm really looking at these Vicky Booten pieces, which I know it makes no sense. There's these cute little hanging Christmas bulbs. And I was thinking, do I want one right here? Okay. Oh, well, now the whole thing's shifting. So maybe we should actually get some adhesive on that. There we go. That wasn't supposed to happen like that, but here we are. So let's get that down. I think I'm going to, do I want to do one? Oh, that's cute. I can do one on that side and let's use the other one. I thought they were such a cute touch and it works so well. I mean, obviously it's going to work well with the title. It's the same exact sticker sheet, but I'm like, okay, that works for Christmas lights, right? So I'm going to have them hanging from that and then pretty much anything I put here, although now I don't like the yellow. Um, anything I put there, it's going to be vibing on it. I can also use like the million stars that are on here and all of that, which I'm sure I'll bring something of that down here. Now we have, oh, what fun and currently. I like the idea of them. It's kind of hard to scupperate these itty bitty pieces, but we will do our best. Oh, and the boys are having themselves quite a nap right now. One does apologize for their incessant snoring. Most of you that know me just know that it's part of the channel. Do not strike your husbands. It's just the boys. All right, so I'm going to pop these on because I think they're awesome. And I get my uh, foam pieces, my skinny foam strips just on Amazon. Super cheap. Super, super cheap that way. And I like them ever so much for, why is my adhesive not adhesing? Like, is that not its entire destiny? It seems like it is. All right, let's put that right back under the little squirrel's chin. We will do, oh, what fun right here. On a little bit of foam, same thing right there. Okay, need to find a piece that's not yellow because it's just blending into the gold too much for me over there. And then, oh, and I, oh, you know what I could do? That's where I could do my, um, like kind of my secondary title stuff. I think I'll do that. That will make sense for me. So I'm not going to make you watch that because that'll be painstaking and my really bad hair day will then be evident for everybody. Maybe just a little bit more of a scuff scuff. Eh, I'm not getting a good scuff on that. That's all right. So how about that right there? that right there. So I'm going to do that there and I'm going to see what other little goodies. Now, I think bringing in these deep blue acrylic pieces would be a nice contrast as well. So let me see where they might want to hang out. Well, I can't put it over poor little squirrel's head. I don't, ew, I could have it hang. I wonder if I can work something in the same way I don't know. I think I can and maybe use a piece of trim. Okay, I'm gonna keep playing. I'll be back in a minute. So I think we're at the point of being able to finish this up. 
I used this great trim that looks like vines to hold my bulbs down. I think it's cute. And I am going to use this happy piece. Now that I have this deep blue here, it broke it up and I can use the word happy right there. So everything else is stuck down. Now I'm thinking, do I want to introduce stars? And I'm kind of nyeh about it. I wish these red and green little circle bits were actually gold for what I need. And, you know, next time I use them, I will, you know, probably want them to be, to be the colors that they are. Okay. So I have that. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my enamel dots that I have over, oh, again, I'm grabbing them. I have this nice little stack of enamel dots from our previous Not Just For Boys Kit Club kits. And I try to use up the ones that have only a few first, et cetera, et cetera. And we have a light blue right here. So I think I'm going to just do a little fun stuff with our clusters and add to them just a little tiny bit. This color is not in play, so I'm not gonna look at that. So I'm gonna do a couple of enamel dots and then really, this is ready for some uh, picks. So I will leave them down below. I'll also have links down below for people who are playing along with Christy's Beautiful Life Challenge. And yeah, that's what I have going on. And let's see, I think I told you guys that I'm playing with Not Just For Boys Kit Club kits for days one through 15 and then switching over to scrap room kits because I think, oh, I have three of these pinks. I think that will be a really fun way to do it. Okay, still shots in a moment.